One of the great spiritual questions is this, bondage or freedom, which? All of us are in bondage to something, and yet, with God's help, we can have freedom. And I pray that you choose freedom today. I pray that God has implanted it within your heart. A knowledge beyond human mind, a wisdom from above that tells you that no matter what you're in bondage to, you can be free. And I pray that you praise God because you begin in this moment of time to know that you are free. And you know that in that freedom, you can become and do all. You acknowledge the individual freedom of people to be the best that they can be. You know, I once uh, knew a very successful businesswoman, and her success was exactly that. She acknowledged the individual freedom of her employees to think and to become the best that they could be instead of trying to hold them down, which so many companies do. We have to be free to think. We have to be free to express. We have to be free to invent. And in our own lives, this is how we become the person that we dream of being. For all those who have broken free from negative habits, let us give thanks right now. Praise God, I am free and I shall remain free. We celebrate freedom. We determine never to take it for granted. We celebrate freedom by acknowledging that freedom, by feeling that freedom inside of ourselves and praising God for it. We are no longer in bondage. Praise God. We are free and we're thankful for our freedom. We celebrate the idea of freedom by allowing it to expand in our mind and our heart. We invent, we create a new self, an expanded self, someone bigger and higher than we ever dreamed possible yesterday, and we're free to do that. Praise God for the freedom that is becoming a visible manifestation in our own life. Praise God because we know of our inherent right from God to be free. And we claim in prayer our freedom and we act in ways that will benefit not only ourselves but all of humankind.